Okay, so the first demonstration is going to involve this compound, lead for oxide. Pour some out so that you can see what it looks like. It has a very reddish brown color to it. I'm gonna put this sample into a test tube and then we're going to heat it to a very high temperature. Bubbling a little bit. It's difficult to see that there are bubbles being produced now. Now we're going to take it off the flame and let it cool and see what it looks like. Okay, here's the setup for D1. Start with the beaker. Notice the hot plate's on, so it's nice and warm. And then we've got a watch glass, which just covers the top of the beaker. See that a little bit better. And we're going to be experimenting with this element. I'll pour some of it out so you can see it. There you go. They have kind of a bluish purple tinge color to them. Solid, kind of sparkly. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but they're shiny. So we're gonna take this sample of this element and we're going to place it into the beaker. And are wrapped. Now one change I'm going to make to this is I'm going to add a few ice cubes. A few of these ice cubes just onto the top of the watch glass. So it's hot down here, cold up here. Okay, I'm going to take the watch glass off now, and I want to show you what it looks like. So there's material that's deposited onto the surface of the watch glass on the bottom, where the ice was making it cold. And we can see that the element is fuming. Lots of purple vapor there. 